how are you i hope you are doing well today in this video i am going to explain about the thermal stress you might have observed in railway lines there is a gap between two metallic pieces for what reason that gap is there to avoid the ducting the gap is to avoid the impact of thermal expansion to understand the concept of a thermal stress you should have an idea of thermal expansion you should have an idea of hooke's law as well as you should know the what is coefficient of a linear expansion what i explained in my earlier video so let us start so children suppose this is a piece of metal its length is l and its temperature is 27 degrees celsius you can say this is the room temperature now suppose its temperature we raised from 27 degree celsius to 37 degree celsius that means change in temperature is 10 degree celsius i brought what will happen so definitely you will find that when its temperature increasing its expansion is taking place its length also increased if this is l i can say this is l plus delta l similarly so you can say this is the hot condition the temperature increased here the temperature was t now the temperature is t plus delta t now if i cool it the length will decrease in this case it expanded in this case this is the cold condition cold condition what we are finding its length is decreasing it is contracting so i can say that its length now l minus delta l that means i want to say that in this case whenever its temperature is changing its length is also changing when our temperature is increasing its length is increasing when the temperature decreasing its length is decreasing so in this condition there is a free expansion and free contraction so whenever the temperature increasing it is expanding expansion taking place if the temperature is decreasing there is a contraction but these things happening freely now some restriction i am going to apply here now the temperature suppose it became t plus delta t in the earlier temperature was t this is the temperature t now i increase the temperature but here there is a restriction rigid wall is there so it can expand more the thing is that the wall will apply the force like this so 
there will be a strain there will be a compressive strain the stress which correspond to this stress strain is called compressive stress there will be strain no doubt so the stress which correspond to this compressive strain that is the thermal stress i have mentioned here it is a compressive stress there is a compression due to the fixed walls now another case you see suppose this metal rod it fits at two rigid ends now the temperature goes down temperature goes down means i am pulling it what happen it will try to contract it will try to contract but there is a rigid wall it will apply the force outwards in both sides it won't allow it to compress so in this case that stress is called tensile stress whether it is a compressive stress or tensile stress both are due to change in temperature so in mechanics and in thermodynamics the thermal stress is a mechanical stress so i can say that in mechanics and thermodynamics thermal stress is a mechanical stress Thermal stress. 
So we got strain is equal to alpha into delta T. So I can say that stress upon strain is equal to Young's modulus. You have studied in the earlier classes Young's modulus of elasticity, or I can say that the stress means thermal stress is equal to Young's modulus into strain. I mentioned here Young's modulus into strain. So I can say that this is why I got strain is equal to alpha into delta t. Previous I mentioned that this strain is equal to alpha into delta t. Here is this is into Young's modulus of elasticity because we have studied previously that stress is directly proportional to strain or I can say that stress by strain is equal to constant. So, now you see that so stress is directly proportional to strain. Stress is directly proportional to strain or is equal to Young's model of elasticity into strain. If I write that stress as delta F upon A, you know that stress is equal to force per unit area. I can write this is also delta L upon L because strain is delta L upon L. So I can say that this delta F is equal to A Y delta L divided by L. So this is the force. When it is applied to outer side of the two metallic plates, when they are in contact, if we apply this force, this force will be able to bend it to affect that bending whenever we make the railway lines, we leave some gap between two metallic plates because there will be expansion they may hit okay to avoid that bending we leave some gap so this is about the thermal stress i hope that you might have understood so in the next video i'd like to go through some numerical problems thanks